okay, first of all, as talented as Diddy may seem to be, I'm not a Diddy fan. Let me just put that out there. I always thought he was shady. It was always just something about him I didn't care for. After watching Making a Band, I just felt like he was a disgusting human being for what he put those kids through to get put on, and then they never got put on. Like, they got put on, but how was everybody broke? Like, that shit is wild. So I don't give a... I really don't care for him, but I'm going to say he did that shit. Whatever they say, he did that shit. Um, Because... There's no way everybody got the same story now. Everybody got the same story about him. And it's crazy that I believe he did bad business. When when has he done good business? When? Tell me when when did he has done good business with other people and it didn't just solely benefit him. Like when once Mace came out and started talking crazy, I knew shit was going to hit the fan when Biggie's moms came out and was like they weren't really friends like he's portraying. I told my son not to trust him. I knew it was some shit. It's like, it's one thing after another, after another, after another. I believe shit is hitting the fan. He must have made somebody upset in the Holly Weird world, one of the higher ups. I don't know. Maybe he wasn't available. Maybe his booty hole wasn't available that day. I don't know. But he made somebody mad and they taking that ass down. Um, I think it's disgusting that people with power take advantage of the power, but he's always been that person. We're just watching it be played all the way out now. It's, and it's things that we ignored because either we didn't believe it or because he had so much money or because he seemed like he was that guy. It was like a he's the people person. He coming through Diddy bopping and he's the the, the party person. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I always thought he was trash for sure. So I'm not mad at what's happening to him. I feel like let's watch and see how this whole thing plays out. He's gotten very quiet lately about this whole situation. Um and Cassie did what the fuck she was supposed to do. Like, everybody was like, oh, why now? This was the right time for her to come out, and she was the right person to start this uh, domino effect because we all believed her. Nobody questioned her credibility when she started talking about what she was talking about. And for me, I don't think this was about the money for her. I think this was about exposing him and doing it at the right time because timing is everything. So I ain't mad at that shit. Let, let the chips fall where they may. But I hope... Whatever damage he's done to people, I hope he realizes it and that he can apologize and move on. Like I said, this year for me is all about giving people grace. Um, but I, I'm I'm disheartened by what I'm hearing because I didn't think it ran that deep. I just thought he was a shitty business person. I didn't think this it came into sexual play and, you know, being a predator. and sh I didn't think it was that bad with him. But I, I really, really, really hope he, he finds some some right here or he tries to do right at least because this shit is getting cra every other week he's he's in the media it's crazy um what about those that would say um he allowed i mean they allowed him to do these things i mean this is nothing new it's hollywood it's hollywood look look at bill cosby how did we not learn anything from bill cosby's situation right wrong or indifferent the reality is whether we feel Bill is a monster, whether we feel he is a rapist, whatever we feel Bill Cosby was or is, everybody was doing Quaaludes back then. It was a thing. It was like how at one point everybody in our generation was doing Lean or Scissorp or Molly's or Percocets, right? So we're, we'll, we're okay that it's glorified in our music, but now you're chastising Bill for something that was going on back then. A lot of those women knew what was going on. A lot, And Bill came out and said all of them didn't. He admitted that, right? He, he wasn't lying about what, what was going on. But it, it's just crazy to me when you sit back and you look at the situation that that's what people did back then. So are we, are we shocked? No. We know what, what comes with Holly fucking weird. Look at all of these child celebrities who went down this crazy ass spiral. Whether it was mentally, emotionally, physically, a lot of them were on drugs, strung out. A lot of them have died from overdoses. A lot of them are still strung out, running through their money. Why, what, why are we not paying attention to what the fuck is really happening? It's, this is nothing new. Nothing new at all. This, this is just a crazy ass. Now, now there are more cameras. That's the only difference. There's more cameras than there's social media. But are we surprised? At least I'm not. I'm not surprised at all. I'm not surprised about what I'm what I'm seeing. Now, I'm surprised when it comes to the kid shit and the, the trafficking and all of that because 
I wasn't privy to any of that beforehand, but Holly weird is Holly weird for a reason. 